Joomla allows you to create a membership site, basic membership sites, to the extent that folks can register on your website or create an account and view <clears throat> content that folks that aren't logged in uh, or aren't registered uh, can't see. So in order to do that, you want to go to your admin area and go to global configurations and then come down to the system link right here at the top of the page. And if you click that, it's going to give us the opportunity to um, edit some user settings here. So are we going to allow uh, users to self-register on the website? Um, and here's where we get to set the default access level that will be applied to new users that register on our home page or anywhere else on our front end of the website. So we can uh, set people to register. If we've got a larger site uh, and we've got multiple content contributors, anyone that registers on the website will, will become an author. Now, there's a handful of reasons you would want to do this. Obviously, if you've got a big site or you've got a, an online magazine or something like this, and clearly you would want to have uh, authors be able to log in from home and submit their content. Uh, they won't be able to edit anybody else's content. They'll only, only be able to edit their own. Editors will be able to um, view all every author every author's content and make edits to it but not publish it. And then publishers will be able to make edits and publish everything. So um, let's say, for instance, you had a website that was uh, some sort of a, a magazine or you had multiple people that you wanted to be able to contribute content to it from the front end. You could set all registered users to author, and then you could set that login page uh, on. Um, you could set, pardon me, the, the sign up form on a, a a page that's kind of buried on your website that's not uh, that folks wouldn't know where to go to necessarily to log in. So if you just wanted to have specific uh, author people authors to log in from the front end, uh, in addition to that, you can also set in that instance too. You might you might as well. Uh, leave it at registered and then just create different administrative levels like a manager uh, who could log into the back end and submit content as well. So um, under the user settings here you've got uh, new user account activation. If this is set to yes the user will be emailed a link to activate their account before they can log in. This is kind of a double opt-in uh, feature within Joomla and then you've got front-end user parameters. So if you're going to show them this is going to allow users will be able to select their own language, their own editor, and their help site preferences on their detailed screen once they are logged in. So once people are logged into your website, uh, for instance, let's go ahead and log in. I'm a super administrator. You'll notice that I, I see I get to see the pad and uh, the pen and pad here. So when I click on that, I'm going to be able to edit this article directly from the front end of the website. It makes for quick site edits, uh, easy content submission. I get the same editor that I get on the back end. Uh, I can upload images again from here using this JCE editor. This is one of the more powerful, easy to, easier to use editors. And you can see I can choose the section, choose the category, choose whether it's published or not. Uh, is, it, is it on the front end? I can change the author and make it an author alias. I can start publishing a published date and a finished published date. Um, in addition, I can put in the meta description, which you would want to have a unique description uh, for every page of your website, and then dump in some keywords as well. So it's pretty pretty straightforward. In addition to that, I also get a, a user menu that you'll notice that shows up on the left-hand side. And from this user menu, everyone that's logged in or as a registered user, if you have this user menu published, because this is a module, uh, they'll see your de the details. They can submit an article uh, and submit a web link and log out as well. So. Uh, from the Your Details page, and we went over this in a couple other previous videos, you can see that um, they, they can change you know, the name, the email, their password, all this type of stuff regarding their user uh, as well. So uh, it's pretty straightforward, and uh, if you're going to allow folks to be able to log in from the front end of your website, this is where you can kind of set some of those parameters around that as to what access level they're going to have, whether or not they're going to get an additional opt-in email, um, and then obviously whether you're going to publish those front-end parameters. So hope that was helpful.